slowly turn. Hello there. Don't even think about going for that pistol. Sit down. Good. Now, who the hell might you be, and how did you get aboard my ship? Oh, just snuck aboard, huh? Hmm. That's how we're going to play this? All right, then. You never answered my question. Who the hell are you? Hmm. Your name is not familiar to me. What? Oh, you're the governor's child. Well, that changes absolutely nothing. What am I going to do? Oh, wow. Um, probably either going to kill you, ransom you back to the governor, for a very, very generous ransom, or I'm going to throw you overboard and let the sharks have you. We'll see what happens. What you say in the next few minutes will determine what happens. Now, just what do you think you are doing on my ship, little stowaway? <laughs> uh, come to join my crew. Really? Really? You want to be a pirate? <laughs> Well, you must be either stupid or insane. Or perhaps a bit of both. I'm leaning towards a bit of both. Shut up. You might be a governor's offspring, but you're talking to me. And... Your daddy isn't here to protect you. Speaking of which, I assume you do know who I am, yes? A, a pirate. Well, you're not wrong. And yet... You are hopelessly incorrect. Did you just jump on the first ship you saw? It, 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 serious. That's, that's what you did. You didn't think to find information about the ship before you boarded it. Well, you are definitely devoid of some very important information, little stowaway. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. Captain Jacoby Lucius McClellan of the Perdition's Judgment. Yes. Most just call me Jolly Jack. Welcome aboard. Although you're not welcome. In fact, your bright presence irritates me immensely. Hmm. You've gone 
quite pale there, kid. Uh, you're right to be afraid of me. Hmm? What's that? Speak up. Didn't your daddy teach you it's rude to mumble? I thought high-class society frowned upon such rudeness. Oh, so you do know me. Or at least the nickname the Spaniards gave me. Yes, yeah. El Tiburon de Soriendo, or something of that sort. I'm not really quite sure. My Spanish isn't too good, I'll be honest. But I'm pretty sure it means something along the of smiling shark, or grinning shark, something like that. Hmm. Probably a joking combination of my name and... Um, what I usually do with Spanish ships and their crew. Hmm. Yeah. You do know how I got this name, right? Uh, I kill Spaniards and feed them to the sharks. Well, yes. Yeah, that's partially correct. Though you err in that they aren't always dead when they hit the water. <laughs> uh, still want to sign up? You, you do. <sighs> uh, definitely insane. More stupid. You're no pirate, kid. Look at you. Well, for starters, your clothes. Very well tailored. Obviously, very expensive. Your hands. They're soft and uncatalyst. I bet you've never worked a day in your life. You wouldn't last... A single day on this ship, let alone a minute in a real battle. This is definitely not the life for you. All of my crew out there are seasoned and ruthless killers. My crew and I had years of privateer experience for king and country before we became pirates, long before we became pirates, in fact. We were good pri privateers as well, real good. You, on the other hand, you grew up in a cushy mansion and have probably never faced hardship in your entire life, whereas we face it constantly. You know what you'd be giving up, don't you? You'd be giving up what I can only assume to be a very cushy lifestyle in your father's mansion, judging from your appearance. You would have a bounty placed on your head just for being associated with me and my crew and this ship. You would never be able to return home, for the only thing waiting for you there would then become death and quite a bit of torture, I assume, if they hold true to their usual methods. Capture, yeah, that's right. Capture, torture, death. And a very, very short and rigged trial somewhere in between. Yeah, every country would see you as an enemy and would want to see you hung, shot, or put in a gibbet for crows to feast on. Your own family would say you are dead and spit on the very mention of your name and say good riddance when news of your death reached them in the morning paper. 
Trust me. I know. Is that the life you really want? Really? <laughs> well, you really are insane, aren't you? Mm. Unfortunately for you, it's not up to you. See, you woke me up in the middle of the night. You, sh you stowed away aboard my ship. And you broke into my cabin. And I'm not looking to add any more crew. Especially one that I have no knowledge of. And frankly, you're the governor's child. I wouldn't trust you to stand beside me in battle. Let alone trust you with my ship. Mr. Cutter. Uh, stow away. Meet my quartermaster, Mr. Cutter. Mr. Cutter, meet the stowaway. Escort them to the brig. Oh, Mr. Cutter, send the men who were on third watch to my cabin, please. I wish to discuss with them the circumstances that allowed this one to get on board. Thank you. Oh, and stowaway. I hope you have a pleasant stay aboard the Perdition's Judgment.